I wasn't going to do a video about this because I was just making a new shade for the back of the boat out of garbage, but it, it came out pretty good. Before this we had uh, one of those pop-up canopies stuck on the back of the boat that a TV crew left here almost a year ago. And you know, those things last a while, but within a year it had rusted to nothing and the top was disintegrated. Anyway, so now I have this, which I just did today. I started with a log that I've had laying around for a while because it's so curvy and I, you know, I can't get any straight boards out of it. But for this, I wanted curvy. So I cut it into four pieces with a chainsaw. This one, this one, one under there, and one over there. Then I attached them up here with some pieces of PVC pipe. They're just quarter rounds cut off from a four inch pipe. So hypothetically speaking, this entire thing can tip up, but I don't really want it to. I like it. I like it where it is. So that got those things in place. And then I put a couple of these across. And one's at the bottom. And then I had to make sure the whole thing wouldn't lift up if there were strong winds. So I made these little toy swords. Screwed them in up here and they're hooked under this ledge so the whole thing can't lift up. And I've got pieces of tar, uh, car tire rubber under here so that doesn't you know, make any holes in the fiberglass. And then I had this leftover tarp that I was using under the, the boat that I was making last. So it's got a bunch of blobs of fiberglass, you know, polyester resin and stuff, but it's still in surprisingly good shape. And it happened to be like the perfect size. Like it overhangs the bottom by like six inches and it goes right up to the top here. And it goes edge to edge and there's just one foot square cut out down there that I already used for something that's missing. Other than that, it's perfect. So then I had to figure out how to attach the tarp. And at first I was looking for the staple gun, but I don't know where it is. Well, I know where one staple gun is, but it doesn't have staples and I don't know where the staples are anyway. I was like, all right, I need to just attach this easier. So, you know, I basically shoelaced it because I still had the grommets on the sides. And this just zigzags back and forth. Not really a permanent solution, probably. But it turns out to be a great laundry line, so maybe it's going to be here for a while. It's also a booby trap for thieves who are really tall. If they walk in here and they're moving quickly, ah, like it's off their heads. Ah. I guess I could tie that up there. But I don't want to enclose this space between because then bugs and stuff might start living up there. So I kind of wanted to leave it hanging down and open. Yeah, man, that just came out really good. Like this. This is the shape I would want if I was making like a big fiberglass permanent thing for back here, which I might do at some point. But uh, yeah, this thing feels so good. You know, when, you know when you make stuff sometimes and it just has the right proportions and shapes and it just like looks good and feels good when you get in there? Yeah, this just turned out great. Of course, one thing that might be nice to do, put a sheet of fiberglass along between the uh, the middle two spars there and then I can be up on the roof and slide down whoosh, into the water <sighs> and I can even make it like a thing back here whoosh, like that so you can go yeah, that, that's probably a low priority thing right now I think I probably have other things I have to do more important than that oh, that is pretty important slides we're gonna need a water slide soon Oh, and with all that chainsawing, I have more chicken sawdust for the the chicken floor. Chicken floor. I love having an electric chainsaw. And I ordered two more electric chainsaws like, um, I don't know, a month or so ago. And they're getting here tomorrow. I'm very excited about that. Electric chainsaws are so much cheaper than gas ones. Nah, here you go, chickens. Have some sawdust. Yeah, or light on the chickens. Yeah, there you go. Oh, 
Oh, hi, chickens. All right, bye.